Now, one of the many sectors hit very hard by the coronavirus is the arts and entertainment industry with actors, performers and production crews among the thousands laid off. But it could prove the inspiration for some to enter the sixth annual Smart Flown Flick Fest, which is calling for entries for a new ISO category. One of the festival's ambassadors is actor Kerry Armstrong, who joins us now from Melbourne. Kerry, thanks very much for joining us. Um, I think that um, you can do really fantastic stuff with smartphones, as you would certainly attest in terms of filmmaking. But really, during this pandemic, they've really come into their own as, as a medium. Oh, they have. And the thing about smartphones is that you can actually have so much freedom. I think one of the new categories, which is fantastic, is there's a new ISO category this year. And the ISO category is a film under three minutes, shot entirely on your iPhone or tablet. You have to edit on it as well. And uh, we're hoping that uh, you stay within the lockdown laws, which are a little blurry. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of films kind of pushing those boundaries. A bit edgy. Hey, uh, one thing we do know, Kerry, all of us have had heaps of time and therefore people undoubtedly could be uh, rather creative uh, with these smartphone videos and that's something certainly you'd be encouraging. Oh, absolutely. For me, I mean, Philip Noyce and Chris Sanders and Krista Stollery, uh, David Wenham, we're all used to kind of being out on locations with everything going wrong. When you're a filmmaker, you have to actually understand that it's a collaboration as well with people, as well with nature. So um, part of me loves this challenge. Um, I also love that there's a kids category for anyone under 16 and we've had some amazing entries, um, absolutely incredible. And for my mind, there's having three boys, um, there's something about everybody being free to be a filmmaker suddenly. Uh, there's your own, your own so, smartphone carried uh, trying to make an appearance and crash the interview. I can hear it tinging, tinging there in the background. We're looking here at one of the previous, some of the previous entries and the quality of, of stuff that you can actually shoot on a, on a smartphone these days is, is really um, phenomenal. And I suppose as well it provides opportunity to some of the people in the arts industries who have been laid off, who are struggling at this particular time to, to get creative and, and to to actually um, do something with, with, with their time. Yeah, you're right. And for us, it's a celebration. Hopefully, we'll be able to launch the festival in October. But entries this year close in 1st of August. We've been open since Friday. You can go online and have a look at one of those films, Blue Moon, which won last year. And I think you'll find you'll be amazed at the amount of scope that was, get, that was gotten in this film and the amount of scope that you can get in a film. There's also, you can do 20 minute um, films under 20 minutes, short films, and there's the 360 minutes or below the feature films, and there's also virtual reality. Looking ahead, Kerry, as a, as a celebrated stalwart of Australia's entertainment industry, are, are you worried <laughs> about the outlook for the entertainment industry, TV shows, movies and the like, once we're through this pandemic, given so many of your fellow uh, actors, uh, uh, creatives, have been put off as a result of the pandemic? Uh, I think the human spirit has to rise. I think Mother Nature's telling us to have a look at ourselves and a rest, and the only way forward is faith so we'll uh, you know our industry is being hit but the thing is we all stick together um we're inventive as you can see with what angela and ali have done with sf3 and uh, yeah i have i have great hope i've had a film and a um series go down or be paused mm. but yeah i i will make it through and australia for once might actually look at itself a bit more instead of going out overseas yeah because in the past that, that's a really good. That's a really good point, Kerry. About in terms of uh, because we're unable to travel at this particular time. Obviously, so many of our arts community travel. They go overseas. They make movies. They make music elsewhere. Once we're through this, or as we emerge through it, could be a real potential flourishing for homegrown talent here. Yeah, I, I think you're right. And we've had sort of an obsession about you know, Daddy America and Mummy, Mummy. United Kingdom and now I think we're, we're actually looking at ourselves and particularly with what's happened with Indigenous filmmakers, particularly what's happened with um, the world opening up that there's no colour, shape or any kind of insistence on how you look as an Australian. So I'm, I'm thrilled about that. 
Well, look, it's, it's great stuff. to speak to you and we certainly wish all of our arts community who are doing it tough uh, best of luck and best of luck with the film festival. Thank you very much for speaking to us today. Yes, come on, everyone. Put your entries in. Yeah, Bye. get them in. Thanks.